Chevrolet. This is going to be a really short video. I was filling up the oil filter with this stuff here. I went to Walmart to go buy some more. They don't have any. So, filter rusted. Went and bought this stuff. So, I'm going to dump this stuff back into the bottle. I'm not going to use that stuff, even though there's videos on YouTube saying how good it is. But what I'm doing here, and I can't work on this tonight, I just took a break, fell asleep in my chair. I've got too much going on. Uh, maybe I should have ordered a rotor for this thing. Yeah, the Turbo Weasel is back in the shop. And oh, I wish I would have showed you this bushing before I removed it. But this is the good one. This one's just uh, off by a touch. That's acceptable. But I wish I would have showed you this one before I put in my power belt ball joint bearing bushing press and watch how this baby works. I had one of these, an old one, that a guy was stealing stuff from me, but I ended up getting the tools and someone stole the tool from me. Blah, blah, blah. You trust people? Watch how this works. That was already sticking out a half inch. Now it's sticking out a quarter inch. This bushing sleeve is going that way. Crank that baby up! Oops. driving out of the sleeve. All right, off the bolt. Isn't that a pretty sight? Unfortunately, I gotta reset it. Gotta keep oil on the threads. Now I've gotta use something different to push this the rest of the way. Maybe I'll put this side on. Nope. That's how far off it was. And they sent, uh, the ex, Mrs. CW, off on her way with the bolts loose and the bushing was looking like that. And I told her three years ago these had to be changed. Ball joint, I think they changed the ball joint. They didn't change the bottom ball joint. That's another chore. Look at this. You grind off those rivets and they pounded those things in with some big machine because they expand the lower control arm. What's interesting though is I had this rust proofed when I took off the clumps of fluid film and it was thick. There was moisture underneath it, just like rubberized undercoating. It was wet underneath. Same thing on the top. Yep, that salt's brutal. It wants to go everywhere. So what's the solution? Scrape off all the fluid film and then apply a thin coat every year? Or, I don't know, it got really heavy here from all the sand that gets spit up by the wheels and settles down. And I was looking inside there. I don't know if you can see it, probably not. It's all rusty inside here. I put this wheel bearing on. It's a Timken. I think she said she put a wheel bearing on that side. I bet you it's a Korean or a Chinese one. But to take off this rotor, you have to remove the wheel bearing and press it off. Because on the half tons, the rotor goes on after. On the three-quarter tons, the rotor goes on first. And the bearing. Not easy to change. Otherwise, I'd change those rotors. So I've got to reset this now. i still got the 4x4 four four problem. I was working on my plow truck. So where's the relay? For the 4x4. Four four. This one there. This thing's got a bit of extra wiring. So one of those down there. I put a new filter on it. Somebody put a new hydro boost in. One of these relays goes click, click, and I don't have anybody here. Mr. Crud ain't around. And I've got some other work to do, so I'm going to leave this thing for tonight. I just wanted to push out this bushing, so give me a minute. I'm going to put this camera aside for a sec. All right, all I did was put this uh, spacer on that fits into here an eighth of an inch, whatever that is in millimeters, and maybe it'll push that bushing through. It's uh, way offset. Let's see what happens. i got to use my foot here. I'm going to have to cut. Cut that baby off. So I'm going to drive it through the other way now. And I'm going to cut it off. So, whoops. I'm going to have to put a spacer here now. Because I pushed it all the way against the control arm. And that has to come off. That sleeve washer has to come off. Give me a sec. All right, I got this sleeve that's very short. You can't put one of these deep ones on because the jaws aren't big enough. So you got a lot of parts in here. Just got to match them. Oop. 
the old foot to block it again. Oh, wait a minute. I'm compressing the control arm. Look at that. <laughs> I've got to put one that's the same size as that to push it back through. Give me a sec. Okay, I've got this set up opposite now. Now I could push it back into here. I've got one that's smaller and one that's bigger. And. Yep, now I can cut that off with my grinder. Give me a sec. All right, I've got my DeWalt grinder and a thin disc. protection, eye protection. Can't wear a mask because it fogs up. Got grease on my boot. Got to wear boots in the winter, suede ones. Now I can continue my endeavor to take this apart. I got two questions for you in a second. One is about tire plugs. Do you believe in plugging your tires or patching them? Plug you can just pop in. My buddy in Houston, MJM's, MJM's workshop just plugged, didn't plug, he patched a tire instead of plugging it. Hmm. And I got a question about snow blowers. Give me a sec. All right. I want to push this solid one or smaller one. Whoops. Oh, man. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Actually, what's going to happen here is I'm just going to push the inside through, but I'll do that. I'm going to change this socket. I'm going to blow up this chrome socket in case you didn't know it. The reason why sockets are black and not chrome, the impact ones, is because they're thicker and softer and they're made to take a beating. And I've also got the wrong size, it's a 7 8 And I should have the 7 8 21, 7 8 right there. Used to all be made in USA, but now Craftsman's just more Chinese junk. If you want tools, you gotta buy them on eBay. Make sure they say, forged in USA. These vice grips, made in USA, you can tell because they have a roll pin on the pivot here for the release handle. See the roll pin? The made in China ones have a rivet. That's just on the vice grips. They used to be made in Nebraska, I think. Not anymore. Not anymore. The next question I had to ask you, I was thinking of buying a yard tractor with a snowblower. So I found one locally. A wheel horse. A buddy of mine says, wheel horse? Junk. And he'd know he's in a bigger snow belt than we are in Minnesota. Isn't that moving? I may have bottomed. Yep. There goes the sleeve. Can you believe they sent out this? This bushing was going bad three or four years ago before we split up. 
and I told her, change your steering box, put in a used, good used steering column that's not sloppy. I'll show you what I mean with my greasy paws. Check this out. That should have this much play. This has been going bad. It's got over 300,000 miles. I said, put a used steering column in. Whoops. Put in a good used steering column, a red top steering box, change the hydro boost, three ball joints, and I'm gonna change the strut. Now a tie rod's gone bad. Lower ball joint, the upper she did, and change the bushings because the bushings are bad. The upper ones aren't that bad to change. The bottom one, I think you have to take off too many parts, the torsion bars. So anyhow, I told her to do it all at once and the shop just rips her off and changes one part at a time, either because they're ignorant or because they want to rip her off. So now I've got to get a sleeve for a socket that's the exact same size as that to push out that or I can cut it. Now that the rubber's gone, whatever's left of the rubber. Unbelievable. So what, uh, what yard tractor should I buy? An old Cub Cadet, all steel, with a two-stage snowblower. I saw one that had a single-stage snowblower. How does it throw the snow far? They don't have a cab, but I don't want to buy one for three or five or ten thousand dollars. I think my budget's a thousand dollars for a 42-inch or so, a 48-inch yard tractor, maybe with a mowing deck. Old Cub Cadet. When's the cutoff? When did they go to plastic? Ten years ago. Alrighty. I'm going to play around with this for a minute. Give me a sec. Well, that went better than I thought. Can I have the camera upside down? This way? Or this way? <laughs> I just tightened everything up. Here's an inch and a quarter socket. I just pulled the trigger and it just slid right through. So, look at that. There it is. Now, what am I putting in? I'm not going to do it tonight. What am I putting in? Oh, I got my Rock Auto parts here. I'm putting in a made in China tie rod end because you've got no choice. You buy parts you think are made in USA and uh, they come in these fancy boxes. Mevotech. And it is made in China. Overbuilt. What are you gonna do? They make it all nice and green with some camo paint. Oh boy. And the bushings Here's the uh, drag link for Mr. Uh, Crud. Here's the bushings. I don't have time to put them in tonight. It was tax day today to pay some bills. Where are these made? Can't tell anymore. The box sometimes looks kind of nasty. Chinese rice paper. Where is this made? Made in Mexico. There they are. Do you prefer made in Mexico rubber or made in China rubber? Depends if you're having sex with it, I suppose. So that goes in like that. And uh, I'll deal with it tomorrow because I've got some other business to take care of. And I post my videos immediately. No delays, no fuss, no must. Look at the rust. It's crime. Rust. What are you going to do? All right, that's tomorrow's job. Wish I would have gotten a rotor for this thing. Once I got it apart, I'm putting calipers on. Where are they remanufactured? I got a friend that remanufactures them in Montreal. Bought some here. Whoa! Ray Bestis. Good American name. You know what that means? Nothing. It means they hop across the border to the Maculaderos. My buddy rebuilds these in Montreal. When he can't get cores, you know what he does? Orders them from China. Yep. There she blows. My friend rebuilds. He's right in his shop, and now he orders cores from China. <laughs> They're ready to be installed, but he takes them apart and puts in good quality USA seals. Starters, too. All right, my shop is a mess. I had it all cleaned up, and it's a mess again. Whew. Isn't this fun? So... I need a tractor, Cup Cadet, an old one with a snowblower in the front. I'm not in a really big rush. It's not going to snow, but when it snows, there's lots for sale on Craigslist. Need to know where the relay is for the four-wheel drive. I got a friend who wants to help me with the wiring. I just haven't had time to concentrate on this thing, but it's back in here, and uh, she needs a truck back. And what 
else did I ask you about? The four-wheel drive, the uh, yard tractor with a snowblower, maybe with a mowing deck. And uh, hang on a second, I'll collect my thoughts for a second. There was one other question I had for you. It was a simple one. Well, you'll just have to remember for me because I ask a lot of things of you guys. You're very helpful. I appreciate it. I, I do read all the comments. Don't always answer, but... Yeah, maybe I'll have to buy one of those sets. They're $225. But I borrow it from uh, AutoZone, and you pay them for it. And when you bring it back, they just give you back all your money. Just like I got to drive up there and drive back and then get distracted along the way. So that's all the news there is for today at the moment. Mr. Crud left. What was Mr. Crud working on? He was putting the brakes together. And he's got a torch set here. Nice Smith's torch set. He was honing his wheel cylinder. And I got him some bolts. Because one of the bolts was really tight. And we used an easy out socket that bites in. I've never used these, but boy, did this thing ever grab tight. The hammered on, and then when you crank on it, it tightens, gets tighter and tighter instead of slipping. And I did heat this up two times with a torch. So there's the original bolt and the original wheel cylinder. What she look like inside? A little rust mark just behind the seal. I think that cleaned up just, just nice. If you buy the new cylinders, they're made in Mexico, made in China, you don't know what, what quality steel you're getting. So I recommend that they hone it with my made in USA honer, or is it made in China? It's hard to know what you're getting.